842, welcome back. It has been way too long since we've been joined by this gentleman here, Roland Dickey from Dickey's Barbecue. And I tell you what, it is the uh, largest barbecue chain in the United States and Absolutely. does the best job with barbecue. Thank you so much. We love it. Of course, we love North Carolina. I mean, this is God's country. I love this state. We've had stores here for years. Our first ones are still there, of course, doing great for 10 years even. We started in, uh, in the Raleigh-Durham area, the, the Research Triangle, I guess I should say. But to, here we got Labor Day coming up, and I want to come over here today and talk about the great way to cook ribs. The first thing with ribs, you know, you always season them. We use our Dickies oh, dry rub, yeah. but you can use any kind of rub you have. Season them very well like this. You notice I'm wearing rubber gloves to do this. I always wear those when I handle raw food of any, raw, raw meat of any time, whether it's mm -hmm. chicken or pork. So rub them with that good. These are what we call St. Louis cut ribs. All Dickies use these. And the, these stores, now, now these ribs are cooked this morning very early at the store in Ballant, Ballantine. 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 Okay. Yep. And here's the same type of ribs. They, this is what they'll look like after cooking for about five hours. Now they turn dark because of the barbecue sauce that we basted them mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. And of course this dry rub helps them turn dark too. Now ribs at Dickies, watch, watch your hand, John. Uh -huh. Watch I don't get, get something on you. Is, notice they, cut, oh. they come like this. Now, at Dickies, there's no chewing allowed when it comes to ribs. You know that. You hold these ribs above your mouth and shake them, and the meat falls right down. I mean, your throat, that's what it should do, right? Uh, that's exactly what it exactly, should do. Exactly, exactly. And they're great. And it's a great thing for you to have for, if you're going to do it in your backyard, if you've got a, a smoker at home. Of course, it's a better thing to come to Dickies and get them to save yourself all the work. But if you don't, if you guys do them at home, they're, they're great. Just remember, indirect heat. It's got to be four or five hours to cook these. It'll be like this. Your, your neighborhood, your guests. I don't have any friends, but if I had a friend, <laughs> I'd cook these for him when he came over. You can't mess with that. I've I, I only got one friend, and I hate him. You know. So, but now here's something else, too. Look at this chicken. Now, this is what your chicken should look like. Yes. In your smoker at home, in your backyard uh, here in Charlotte, you should have a chicken. This would look like this. Again, indirect heat. We have these at Dickie's. Whole chickens are great. And you know they're they're just a great a great product. They're smoke. They're tender. Again, they fall off the bone too, and they're they're just they're great. You love them. Uh, but I recommend those for your for Fourth of July, about Fourth of July, Labor Day, and uh, it's, it's coming up. It's a great great thing for you. And of course, here at Dickies, we've got all the other meats too: the, the brisket, the pulled pork. Everybody mm -hmm. knows about that. Everybody. We like knows to talk it. about other things besides pulled pork and brisket. And of course, our sausage that we make right for our ourselves. But it's great stuff. And of course, we love North Carolina. And they love us. Here I want to ask you, Mr. Dickey, though. This it's it is so good. It is it is as good as any. Where did that love of barbecue come from? Do you think? Well, for you? Uh, my 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 late father started the business. He died. We had one little store in Dallas, Texas, and I took it over when I was 20. And we have 600, uh, almost 600 stores now. We open a new one every week, and that's the love. It's just well, you know, guys like us. We were just uh, dumb guys in the barbecue business. We didn't have brains <laughs> enough. Well, seriously, my brother was the first guy in our family to graduate from high school. We didn't know what the heck college was and so uh, we began to make sandwiches and and, uh, and cook ribs and things and gosh here we are and, and everybody we, you know, loved them. exactly everybody we've been them. slinging hash for, since 1941 oh. our family has and that's what we do for a living it's great but you are living the greatest place in North Carolina if I could live anywhere besides Texas it'd be right here oh, you can't be, you're, it's a great place we I tell you. really you appreciate it. it we would love to have you on longer we've okay, run out of super. time right now but of course Dickies is here in Charlotte oh, sure. you've got to try them out they're in the research triangle we appreciate you coming great in. thank Thanks. you so much we love it all right and uh, you can check them out they've got a website as well but right now let's go to uh, be <laughs>